Alrighty, now that you've gathered all of your things inside the biosafety cabinet, you're, good, you're ready to get started. In front of me, I have a 75 centimeter cubed flask. In class, we will be using a 25 centimeter cubed flask, so don't freak out that they're not the same size. To begin, we're going to suck out all of our old media using our vacuum, and then we're going to do two steps of PBS washes. To start, you're going to want to turn on your vacuum, which is located below the biosafety cabinet, as you can see, and we'll turn it on by flipping the on switch here. Now that you turn it on, make sure you respray your hands with ethanol as you did just contaminate your hands. Okay. If you hear that high-pitched screaming sound, that is because the vacuum is still shut off and you'll want to turn it like this to make sure it's turned on. Make sure that all of your materials are ready. By do to do this, you'll take a 10 mil serological pipette tip and you'll break it like this. You'll take the paper side and push towards yourself. Be mindful not to touch the serological tip at any point. And then you'll insert it into your pipette aid. It's easiest if you rotate the pipette aid from this side all the way around if you're left-handed so you can see it, or if you're right-handed, keep it like that so you can see how much you're pipetting in or out. I will set this aside as we don't need it right now, but it is ready for when we need it in the future. Next, loosen your PBS that has been aliquoted for you at the beginning of class so you don't have to unscrew it when your hands are full. You'll also loosen the cap on your media or on your cells. Next, to use the vacuum, you'll take a five milliliter serological pipette tip and you're going to snap it around here at the minus two. Snap it in the corner, being mindful not to spray it towards yourself. And peel it back. You'll then take your vacuum hose and insert the end of the tip there and peel back. Now with two hands, you're going to unscrew this here and you're going to want to tip this backward. When you're vacuuming out, be mindful that your cells are on a single layer on the bottom side of this flask so you don't want to scrape them and disturb them. So you're just going to suck in the corner, being mindful not to scrape any part of the flask. Make sure you get out as much as you can. Set it down, replace the cap back on, and you'll remove this for later use. Next, you're ready for your first PBS wash. To do this, we're taking 10 milliliters of PBS. In class, you'll be using five. and it doesn't have to be perfect. Next, you'll add the PBS dropwise to your flask. Again, being mindful not to scrape the bottom of your flask. It may be a little hard to see, so rotate it so you can see it. And be very mindful whenever you're working with the pipette to never suck up any liquid past the maximum allotted amount or you will contaminate the pipette as well as ruin the pipette filter. 